for the NFSB full working group um, and uh, other related activities. So I have another presentation this afternoon on the file bench, which is another piece of work that I do. Uh, Mahesh is uh, sitting over here on the side. He'll wave. Uh, <laughs> so he helped with content prepare for the presentation. So what I'm going to cover today uh, is a description of uh, briefly what PNFS is, um, but we'll go through and describe what it is we're building for the Open Solaris platform in support of the NFS 4.1 implementation. So it'll be a kind of a combination of you know what's there in the spec, what are we doing? Interesting to uh, quite a few set of customers. So so what is PNFS? So we're, we're trying to different servers based on file system boundaries, but it's really not a horizontal scale solution in kind of a fundamental sense. And NFS 4.1 isn't really introducing anything new. There's a lot of um, proprietary solutions that exist um, to address this as well. And so it follows kind of a similar, a similar architecture. And so um, you have an NFS 4.1 client that's enabled to actually implement and understand PNFS and uh, this metadata server, data server split, that idea. And um, if you have a client that doesn't understand that, either a 4.1 client that's not implemented to support it, or an NFS 4.0, or an NFS v3 client, or a SIFS client, um, they'll actually talk to the metadata server, and the metadata server will act as a proxy for the data um, that lies underneath the, the file systems at the server side. So. The way the NFS client actually finds, uh, finds out about this separation between metadata server and data servers is through a layout get operation that we've added in 4.1. And layout get, um, as the name, name implies, actually returns the layout of the file, the, 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 essentially the locations of where that data is located and where the client actually has to go to to read and write from that file. The client always has the opportunity to go back to the metadata server and read and write the data if it chooses to, but um, if it's, like I said, if it's enabled for 4.1 and PNFS, then it can get it directly. So layout get returns the layout that describes um, in the files case, um, essentially a striping of that file. Um, the other detail here is, is that layouts are recallable. Um, what that means is the metadata server may decide in the future that it really doesn't want the clients to see the locations of the data, um, so it can actually ask for those layouts uh, to be returned. And what that allows the NFS server, the metadata server, to do is actually it could do, um, say it wants to offload uh, the resources on a data server back to the metadata server for some reason, for administrative reasons. Um, it could um, restripe the data, it could move the data to different data servers, um, but it has that control to go back and, and ask for that layout be returned. Uh, the client always has their purview to go ahead and, you know, ask for another layout, but um, they essentially go back and interact back and forth. Um, and the other feature here within the layout mechanisms is that the striping offers a simple mirroring capability. So essentially it's an alternate data path. The client's not responsible for actually writing to both sides of the mirror. That's a responsibility of the server side. So they're really treated as exact copies that are always in sync um, between them. So what you can do with this then is we could actually offer with PNFS in the files case, uh, RAID 0 and RAID 0 plus 1. So, or I'm sorry, 1 plus 0. I'll back that up. So the other key feature here is, is that um, the way we structured the protocol is that we have um, a mechanism to essentially offer a level of interaction between uh, the metadata server and the data server types. Um, and that allows for different um, data servers or the expandability of um, data access for the clients. So initially, the NFS 4.1 internet draft actually includes a files-based layout um, in the mainline definition. So that, what that means is, when we say files, that means that I use the NFS protocol to actually interact with the data servers. So I'll be talking NFS 4.1 to those data servers and reading and writing data. Um, but we're also defining two other uh, device types. Uh, one of them is a blocks-based device type, so traditional IP, or, or I'm sorry, iSCSI or uh, fiber channel type block devices. Um, that layout type will offer layouts that actually provide